I think the next organ we'd like to see is the lungs. It's a sort of a really important question in, in immuno-oncology, especially because we do a lot of lung cancer work. So being able to really understand the transcriptional profiles of the different structures within the lungs is key. And I think some of that work lends itself to the COVID-19 lung work we've done too. So I think being able to look at it in two different diseases will be really powerful and to really have that sort of control tissue, um, that atlas work, that'll be really, really key. So lungs definitely. I reflected on where we are today and sort of where we were three or four years ago. It all started with a really small seed grant from our university and it gave us sufficient funds to run two or three samples and it really highlighted to us, that initial experiment really highlighted to us what's possible and sort of that sort of snowballed and um, we're now, you know, our lab split between cancer and COVID-19 but that's where it started with a tiny, tiny, tiny seed grant and now it's, you know, we've got multiple instruments, multiple technologies, really being able to do the discovery science and then all the way through to the single cell work too, so yeah. Yeah, so we use it as a discovery tool up front. So when we have really good cohorts, be it COVID-19 lung tissue, cardiac tissue, placental tissue, or even brain studies, we use it as a discovery tool. And the real benefit is, but whether it's in COVID or, or immuno-oncology, is that we have really good clinical cohorts. So patients that responded to therapy or didn't respond to therapy, we use those cohorts retrospectively to do the discovery work. And then downstream, we use the Cosmics to really do a deep dive on the individual cell types and subcellular data sets. The biggest benefit we found with Geomex DSP is that it's high throughput. We can run a lot of archival tissues, so you know, pathology samples, or we have hundreds of samples either in TF tissue microarray format or in whole slides. And you know, it's very robust. It's, it's standard workflow in our lab. Um, you know, tissue that's over 20 years old, we can run that through the Geomix and it's very robust reproducible data. Um, so it's a standard tool in the lab at the moment for very much discovery science. So I think the next application for spatial is really being able to do the sing single cell assessment to cell type plus subcellular as well and sort of combining that back through to that multi-omic assessment of the both the transcript data plus the protein data and being able to get that off a single unstained tissue section is really powerful so you don't have to do multiple sections you can do it off a single section so I think that's really really powerful. So we, we use the Cosmics to really do a deep dive on the findings that we generate from the geomics and then we try to do so that we do the geomics up front for the tissue discovery work and then for the cell typing we use the uh, Cosmics platform and we're able to really understand the different cell types. A good example is for COVID, we can understand the cell types that are infected with the virus and then the surrounding neighborhoods within that. And we're doing a lot of work in that space at the single cell and subcellular level. Um, and I, so I think there's complementarity between the Geomix and the Cosmix platform uh, and being able to use those together.